and they blow. Don't tell me they put it in your eye. They don't blow. The That's like child cruelty. <laughs> See, this is the secret of showbiz. They yes, put all they that stuff in your eye. Them. Hello. My name is Zara Wolf. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, we have a lovely interview lined up for you today with three professional working actors who are all under the age of 18 years old. So, huh? Amazing. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo Hart. Hello. My name is Verity Drew Fair. Loxy. And, and we are young, young actors. Right. Um, so you're an actor, obviously. Yeah. Um, what kind of acting is your main, is your main acting? I, I take theatre, it's always been kind of more my thing. I'd really like to work on a film in the future, maybe more behind the camera maybe, maybe write some stuff. If I wasn't going to say acting, it'd definitely be theatre. Let's just talk about some of your monumental career moments. Um, so, I just want to start by talking about, what's it called? <laughs> Grief is a thing of feathers. Grief is it's a thing of feathers. Grief is a thing of feathers. With and with <laughs> Oh, because it's a bird! It was at the Barbican and then it transferred to New York, uh, St Anne's Warehouse in Brooklyn. Um, but it had previously been on in an Irish run, which I wasn't in. But oh, I, was, okay. I was in the London and the New York version of it. Okay, so I think those were more exciting. Well, I mean, it's I famous. love Ireland. Yeah, but like, it's, you know, it's not really known for the, the <laughs> theatre. Oh my god. So, how did you get the role? How did you come across it? I, I was, I was ill. I had like a cold, right? And my mum like <laughs> texted me and was like, "You've got an audition," and it was like quite close. And it was like, I, I didn't really want to go. I was really tired. They had to give two monologues and a like poem. And yeah, and I went and I was like, that was nice. I probably won't get it. But it was very, it was a nice thing to do. Did you have any like signs that was like, oh, I think I've done well, or did you really think, oh, I haven't got it? I don't know what I. I always find that really interesting to yeah. ask when someone's got a pass and something to ask. Did you think you were going to get it? Well, um, when I originally did it, like I had a chat with the director after. It was a really funny, nice guy. I made him laugh, and like I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> And then a week later, I'm still ill. I'm on the sofa with my mum, and we're having a day off. We're watching like crappy daytime TV. It's like really like awful stuff. And then she's like, "Oh, um, my agent is saying that they've called you back, which means like they want to see you again. They like ask for a self tape, which means you film yourself. And that's what we called it. Um, yeah. Sat that back, back down. Sat that back, back down. And carried on watching like Homes Under the Sun." Is it Under the Hammer, or is there actually a program called, called Homes um, Under the Sun? It's the one where they try and find houses in Spain. Oh, okay, no, that's people. not what <laughs> I was thinking of, there's this program called Homes Under the Hammer, or like yeah, Houses yeah. Under the Hammer, and that one is where like, they have these like, shabby old like, buildings that they just like, completely renovate and, and make money out of it. But I thought you were talking about that, but I don't... Place in the Sun! Oh, okay. Oh, is that, oh, was that when like really rich people just like try and? No, it's, it's like eight. It's like seventy-year-olds who are like uh, who are, like uh, who uh, live in the countryside and they're like moving into some not very nice. A um, place in the Home Improvement two thousand episodes. Two thousand episodes. No, like it was first made in two thousand. Oh, I think. Okay. Anyways. Anyway, uh, and then a week later, my mum gets emailed and says you've got the part, and it was it was great. Like, I was. I was buzzing, it was sick. And How then, did you react? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably was Reenact. Like, Yay! Yay! Yeah. And danced around a bit. Yeah. Had a shower. Had a shower. Whenever anything good happens. Really? I just like need a moment to myself. Yeah. Like, a shower's like the best place to have a moment to yourself and just think like, hmm. this is yeah. a milestone. So it was you, Killian Murphy, um, and. Uh, the other boy, and then there was the director. And there was about four other people, I'd say. So it was okay. like, there was only, what, ten people in the room. When you're thinking about, like, some plays where there are, like, 40, 50 people at, like, a rehearsal, mm. it was, like, it was really nice. Intimate, yeah. yeah. It felt like intimate. It felt like if you slipped up, no one was going to point the finger. Yeah. But, like, it was, it was really nice. And it was really fun as well. Everyone had, like, a massive laugh. It was probably the funnest show. Well, not fun. It's, like, it was probably the, like... One of the shows I've had the biggest laugh on. Wow! Yeah. I have to ask this question, um, bit of, put a bit of clickbait in the YouTube video. Um, what was it like working with Killian Murphy? Because I'm um, sure you know who he is. He's like international star of people uh, lining. 
very much loved. Uh, he's actually a really nice guy, like, um, what he, he's really down to earth and <laughs> he's, I was about to say not talkative, he, he does talk for like, it's oh, really hard to explain, he's quite like, he, reserved, he keeps himself to himself quite a lot, he's quite a shy person. This is a kind of off topic but like also definitely on the topic of acting which is what this channel is here to discuss as well but like a lot of people who I've worked with in acting always have some kind of like mindset that you have to be able to be like the class clown and like go out in front of yeah. a group of people to like embarrass yourself and you know make people laugh at you or whatever like just be really 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 overconfident in order to you know be a good actor and that's something that I actually fundamentally disagree with because there's literally endless examples of the most successful mm. actors in especially the TV industry who are shy. So the next play we're gonna talk about is called A Very, Very, Very Dark Three Matter. Months. Do you refer to it like that? Because it's a bit of a mouthful. We all called it A-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-V-
doctory yes. thing. So was funny that they were so similar. They were so similar. Did you have any challenges playing the role? Was yeah, it difficult? It was, like... a, it was actually a really challenging role because um, most of it was crying, and like I had I had to cry a lot because. It was pretty deep. It, it, was so pre sad. it was pretty deep, which was got what was going on. To it. Yeah. it was like quite a deep subject. What method do you challenging. use to uh, play a role like that? If, if I, if you don't mind me asking, are you more of like a, I think about what would happen, and God forbid, if it was, if I was in this position, yeah. or do you just like imagine it, or like I, what do you do? I'd say I do the first one. I think about uh, before I like. I don't think about it really much. I just think about like. Especially when like I'm finding it quite hard, like I have like a really hard scene to do. I think like my mum's dying. I yeah, just, that's what I think about. And yeah. then, then I do that, and I use that for grief as a thing. For there's like mm. whenever I nearly laughed on stage, which I didn't do much. But if I ever nearly did that, yeah, I just think like your mum's dead. Game. Wow. <laughs> yeah, pull it together. Yeah, but that actually work. I think it works, but also they gave me um. Do you know what all that sort of is? It's yes. like an oil used for colds. Yes. What they do is that they makes um, your eyes water. Doesn't yeah. What they do is they get this. It's like a weird thing. They get a little tube. Right. And they get like a thing of orbital and they blow and then they blow. And don't the tell me they put it in your eye. They don't blow the That's like child's cruelty. They blow the <laughs> See, this is the secrets of showbiz. <laughs> they yeah, put all they in your they eyes. They pour it in our eyes. <laughs> no, they actually like blow the air from the orbital. Oh, so it's, okay. It, it, they they gave me a choice, obviously. Like, do you want us to just add like? Teardrops, or do you actually? Because it it made my eye red, eyes red, as well as making me cry. Oh, okay. So they were like, that would have probably helped you to get yeah. more into the role. So they I were imagine. like, do you want us to actually give you the all bus oily stuff, or do you want us to just add tears? And I was like, give me the all bus oil. I'm hard. Oh! <laughs> it actually stung. It stung my oh. eyes. <laughs> it was my mum and me had this joke because the um the director came in and was like, okay. So I'm gonna give you this stuff. We really want you to use it. I used it yesterday, and it's so painful. My eyes burned. And it but was, you still wanted to use it. I still did it. Wow. Like we go because she she properly went in hardcore with the cell. Wow. She was like, yeah, my eyes were burning. I can still oh. feel it in my retinas. Wow. But it wasn't even that bad. She properly, she made me terrified of it. Oh, so it was a bit of an anti climax, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. I was like, it's not that bad. Wow. Okay, right. You know what? We should wrap it up. Um, uh, but uh, ciao for now. Bye. bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that little button over there and like subscribe. And subscribe.